Hi, and welcome. Today you are at Ativo Spotlight Edition. So I would like to welcome my guest here, Joseph Salazar. Hello. He is a technical marketing engineer with Ativo Networks. Joseph, can you kindly introduce yourself? Yes, my name is Joseph Salazar. Um, I have been an uh, information security uh, professional for about 22 years in incident response, uh, network forensics, uh, computer forensics, and uh, uh, network defense, both in the military and in civilian life. Excellent. Well, obviously, we've got a great subject matter expert here with us today. So I'd like to ask you, so first, you work for a deception company. What does that mean? So essentially, what it means is uh, using misinformation and deception, decoys and lures to detect attackers that have already made it past your perimeter defenses and are in your network. So deception technology is really about detecting threats inside your environment that all your other solutions have missed. Okay. So why deception though? There are tons of different choices to try to add to your security control stack. So my question for you is, what makes deception unique or different from other choices that are out there? Well, a lot of it comes down to the fact that it's very low effort and it doesn't take a lot to get started with deception. Now, in, de in deception, you're tr setting traps rather than hunting for your, the threat that you're looking for. So inherently, it's much more efficient. There's not a lot of operational overhead in terms of you have to keep watching and tuning and, and you have to wait for it to, to get better at learning your environment. Inherently, deception is about laying traps, putting down minefields, tripwires, that an attacker is going to trip over when they start moving around your environment. So it's much more efficient, it's very easy to get set up because all you really need is, is a few traps out there, maybe a few credentials in your environment, and you've already got deception going. Great. Well, let's face it, attackers are pretty sophisticated and they seem like they have an endless amount of resources and money. But an IT uh, security organization generally has a restricted amount of budget to be able to work with. What makes it, uh, it's the Ativo deception authentic? What makes it work? Does it really work? Tell me more about that. Sure, so uh, in, in a word, yes, it does work. And we've got many customers uh, telling us that it works in their environment. They've caught many insiders, um, instances of employees doing things they weren't supposed to do. But essentially, the reason why Ativo Networks is authentic in their deception is that we use full operating systems. We're not an emulated honeypot, for example. Um, we can customize the uh, decoy to look like any other system on the network, even to the point of taking a golden image and making that into a decoy. So uh, it's much more authentic than setting a, a honeypot that an attacker can go in and look at and immediately identify as deception. Now, when it comes to operating it, once you've set these traps, there's really nothing to do. So from, a, from a, an operational standpoint, it's very easy. And these alerts, because they're engagement-based, there's no looking for a false positive, there's no correlation. It's the alert, when it happens, means that there's confirmed activity. And so you don't have to go and, and try to, to correlate it against all these other events. You know for a fact that something engaged with a decoy. And since they're not a production asset, no one should be touching them in the first place. Right, right. So deception, there are many different flavors of deception. It's not a one size fits all. So tell me, Joseph, how do you get started with deception? Where do you deploy it, and is there one place that's more effective than another? Well, so it really depends on the size and, and, and needs of the organization and the risk profile. So if you wanted to get started with, say, credentials on your endpoints, you can do that. Just um, put up the, the bot sync and set up the uh, threat strike credentials on the endpoints, and you're ready to go. Now, when you want to start moving to the network, you can deploy slowly. You can start in your server environment, and then potentially go beyond that and go into your user networks. And then if you want to take it a step even further than that, you can go to your cloud, you can go to your specialty environment like SCADA, ICS, IOT, point of sale, medical devices, things like that. And then to go even beyond that, you can start getting very elaborate and you can customize to your heart's content. You can make these deceptions look very valid. You can start going with the decoy documents that you can place in the, in the decoy environment so that if they get stolen, they phone home and you know where they end up. Right. Sounds like there's a lot to that. So is this going to be really complicated to deploy? How about maintenance? How many people am I going to have to put into keeping this up to speed, operational, 
Can you tell me more about that? Sure, so, so we've had feedback from one of our larger customers that it takes one employee approximately 15% of his time every week just to maintain the alert and, and look at the alerts, and that's really not a lot. Um, I've been in situations where from unboxing to setting up the first decoy took one hour. And from a maintenance standpoint, we've never had a customer t come back and tell us, I had to hire somebody. Most of the time they tell us it just fit right in and there was no reason for me to hire additional headcount just for this because it was so easy to use. Great. So Joseph, can you also tell me you've got machine learning in your portfolio. How does that apply to deception technology? So machine learning is really used to learn the environment. Um, it's meant to make your, your deployment very simple. So what you do is when we when we connect the appliance to your network, it's going to learn everything about the environment. It's going to learn the services, the ports, the operating systems, the, use, the system names, the MAC addresses of everything on every VLAN that it can see. And then it will craft the deception and the decoys to match that environment. And we're not just talking about the network decoys, we're also talking about the endpoint things that we put on there, the credentials that we will load onto the endpoints. And then once it learns the environment and crafts the decoys and the deceptions, all you have to do is approve it. It's a one-click process. Excellent, sounds very simple. All right, so we are out of time, but let me ask you one last final question. Any final words that you can give to our viewers? Sure, so deception is not something that you need to be a mature infrastructure or, or organization to implement. Yes, there's a lot of capabilities available to it, but you can get immediate value from deception just by starting with, with a few simple decoys. The amount of visibility that it gives you inside your network is uh, going to give you um, information on where your gaps are. It will give you the detection capability, that inside uh, the network threat detection, the east-west traffic visibility, and it will also help you identify the gaps that you need to address later. And so it's not something that you have to uh, make it learn the environment and or tune it to, to where you want um, everything perfect like, uh, some, like other, other technologies. It's immediately valuable to you. So no matter what size organization you are, whether you're a uh, medium-sized business, a small business, a law firm, or a big bank, you can use Deception right away because it's very easy to maintain, it's very easy to deploy, and it's very easy to operate. Excellent, well it sounds like Deception technology can add a lot of value for organizations, both uh, small and large, yes. and across uh, pretty much all verticals, since everybody does need to be able to protect their information and also their uh, critical infrastructure. So with that, I'd like to thank you for joining us on our showcase today, and I Hope you have a wonderful day. Cheers. Contact Ativo now to learn how to strengthen your organization's visibility, detection, and response to in-network threats.